hello all of you lovely violinists out there. Today we're going to talk about how to change your strings. Now I know it kind of sounds like kind of scary. I know I was definitely a little bit nervous myself when I first started doing it. Just follow these instructions and I promise you'll be able to do it by yourself. No problem. <laughs> to change your strings are your violin because you know duh a microfiber or cotton cleaning cloth I like to use mine from Char a pencil isopropyl and of course your strings I really like pie by Tomastic strings which I also get from Char so I like to change my strings right near a table just so I can have everything laid out and at the ready for when I need it I also like to be seated just so that I can put my violin right on my lap, have it anchored and ready to go. So you're going to start by unwinding just one string at a time. I usually start with any string. You want to make sure that you keep the rest of the strings on so that your bridge will stay in place. You just kind of pull it out. And take that out of the bottom like that. Once the string is unwound, you're going to want to clean right underneath where the string was on the fingerboard. You'd be surprised actually how much buildup gets under there. So take your cloth like this, the finger, grab your isopropyl, usually I like to do this without the violin near me, and put a little bit of isopropyl onto the cloth like this. Now you'll take that little patch of isopropyl and rub up and down the fingerboard, making sure not to get any isopropyl, no isopropyl, onto the varnish of the instrument because it will ruin the varnish and it will ruin your violin. Next, you'll take your pencil, retrace the grooves that the string is going to go into. To set your fine tuners up, for the string, the new strings, you're going to want to make sure that they're not either all the way in or all the way out. So you're going to want to make sure that they're at a nice medium point. This one was kind of far in, so I'm just going to unscrew it a bit. So now it is time to begin putting the string onto the violin. So you're going to take the threaded end, the colorful end, thread it through the peg just to the other side the peg and then you'll want to make sure that when you're winding the peg away from you you keep the threading to the outside of the box so for the A and E string it will be to the right side and for the D and G string it'll be to the left and that will help your peg stay better in tune. Winding it until it gets a little bit tighter now, once it's starting to get some tension on it, you're going to want to put the ball end into the fine tuner. So it should just slide in, just like this. Then make sure that when you're tightening the peg, the string stays in the nice little grooves that we've redefined with our pencil. Yeah. to need to start tuning the string. We like to use an app called Tuner Light to do this. It's free actually. For the A string, we're able to have it ring the pitch so we can internalize it. So now that we have that pitch in our head, we're gonna cautiously tighten it. Now you need to be very careful because millimeters in tuning the violin are just like miles. So just a little bit at a time. Still a little low. Now every time you tune, you're going to want to keep an eye on your bridge to make sure that it stays straight up and down. If you do feel like it's starting to move and you want to know how to very, very gently move it back into place, keyword very gently, be sure to check out our link below to another video 
that teaches you how to adjust your bridge. Well, congratulations. Now you officially have every little bit of knowledge that you'll need to be able to change your strings. Good luck, and be sure to let us know how it goes. We want to hear about it. We'll put some ways that you can do that below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Atlas Tutorials.